days when we used to meet her, she was so committed, her students used to like her so much and I think she has been a very lovely teacher and I think yeah. a great pleasure for her she, is a teacher. And, uh, she has got a lot of uh, creativity, I think when I left Ramachandra she made one uh, videograph and she gave it to me uh, with all the songs incorporated in it, she has got a lot of other talents and I knew that she is going to do something uh, big someday. I am extremely happy that she has come out with such a good uh, project and uh, I think just as I was talking they asked me how come you are a surgeon and how were you involved in nutrition so I was telling them the story that everybody said the operations were successful but the patient's recovery and the output was not very good so as a surgeon I tried to analyze and I found that most of the people 
don't mind spending on doctors, don't mind spending on medicines, but they were very, very cautious when it came to spending on nutrition and nutritional care. Most of the Indian patients, every fifth Indian patient is a diabetic. Uh, so you can understand that diabetes <coughs> healing is very, very poor. Similarly, when you find most of them are anemic, and most of them when they come to the hospital, they eat the hospital diet and become more anemic. <laughs> that is why we need good uh, nutritional uh, people to take care. And I think in uh, Ramachandra Medical College, I was very happy to inform you that when we looked into the department, the people asked me, uh, can you head the department of clinical nutrition? Believe me, when I joined in 2002, I thought I'm going to stay there for one year. But when these people were there, my surgical department started asking me, you are all the time spending time in nutrition department and not coming. One of the reasons why they were all very pretty girls, <laughs> young girls, but they were all full of enthusiasm and they used to uh, do so much of work. And I just want to tell you how we developed this MSc program of nutrition. We called all the nutrition programs of uh, uh, the various city colleges doing BSc programs. We called them to do the internship. And they came to the internship, they said that this is the place we want to join. And then we did some study and then we started the MSc clinical nutrition program in our institution. And I'm very proud to say that I think that program is doing extremely well. Some of them have gone to do PhD also. So I am very happy that uh, people like uh, Muktu and Divya, they are all now thinking beyond the box. Everybody used to ask, who is your doctor, family doctor? Who is your family dentist? Who is your advocate? Who is your lawyer? <laughs> now they are asking, who is your nutritionist? Who is your fitness expert? Who is your counselor? And all these things. So I think this has become a part of it. You have to say, directly report to you, you are a counselor, you are a nutritionist. I think nutritionist is a very important person. I'm sure uh, they are going to give the good tips. And uh, I know my own daughter, Rashmi, is a nutritionist, so I can very probably tell that I motivated her to do nutrition and diabetes. And today, even after having a family, she's baking cakes and she's baking eggless cakes and she's making nutrition cakes. Uh, I used to tell her first, uh, you are yourself nutrition, you are making people sick by putting a lot of cream and all. She says, no, 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 they are all eggless. I take interest and I do what it is and you know, healthy cakes and things like that. So I'm very, very happy that a uh, beautiful place has been chosen. I am here available for any form of uh, help you require from the medical angles and things like that. I support you and I hope that.